To Hebrew Bible Secrets with your host Rabbi Jeremy Peterson, Chief Rabbi. We are reading today from the book of Corinthia Aleph, and we're starting at chapter 2. Okay, so 1 Corinthians chapter 2. But first, I'd just like to show you the books we're reading from today. So, the first book we have is The Hidden Truth Hebraic Study Scriptures. New Testament, New Covenant. And the second book is The Hidden Truths, Hebraic Scrolls, Tanakh, 
with commentary and also if you want to learn about the feast and the Sabbath and the Holy Prayers please buy the Forever Siddur Forever Israel Siddur Daily Living Prayers so all these books were written and transliterated from Hebrew to English by Rabbi Simon Altaf Hakurim. Okay, so you can buy these books on Amazon. So without further ado, so 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1. And I, brothers, when I came to you, I came not with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the mystery of Yahweh. 2. For I determined not to know anything among you except Yahushua the Messiah and him impaled. 3. And I was with ye in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. 4. And my speech and my service was not with enticing words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Ruach spirit and of power. 5. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yahweh. 6. Now we do speak wisdom among them that are complete, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age, that come to nothing. 7. But we speak the wisdom of Elohim in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which Elohim appointed before the world to our glory. 8. Which none of the rulers of this age knew, for had they known it, they would not have impelled the master of glory. 9. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Elohim had prepared for them that love him. 10. But Elohim has revealed them to us by his Ruach Spirit, for the Ruach Spirit searches all things, yes, and the deep things of Elohim. 11. For what man knows the thoughts of a man except the Ruach Spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the thoughts of Elohim knows no man but the Ruach Spirit of Elohim. 12. Now we have received not the Ruach Spirit of the world, but the Ruach Spirit which is of Elohim, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Elohim. 13. Which things also we speak, not in the words taught by man's wisdom, but which the Ruach Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. 14. But the natural man receives not the things of the Ruach Spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness to him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. 16. For who has known the mind of Elohim, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Messiah. Okay, so that brings us to the end of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. So there is only one footnote. So let's have a look at that. So the first footnote we have, or the only footnote, is in verse 9. But as it is written, eye has not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Elohim has prepared for them that love him. It says here to read Isaiah 64 and 4. Okay, so have a look at Isaiah 64 and 4. Okay, so that now brings us to the end of chapter 2. So I thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you on the other side. This is Rabbi Jeremy Beaton, Chief Rabbi, saying thank you for watching and Shalom Shalom. Baruch Shiem Kivod. 
Malkuto, Leolam Ba'ed, but never be the name of his esteemed kingdom, forever and ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>